Hello! We're back, playing the way once more. What a delightful little scenic area we're in, surrounded by dead bodies. So, we just escaped the blast of a mighty cannon, had slaughtered countless blue scarves, and now we're following a trail of bodies. This is auspicious. Mm -mm -mm, walking down the blood road. Doo -doo -doo. Uh huh. One way is a bush, the other way is a ladder. What do these fine fellows say? Get lost! By the power of Four Woman Hill, I decree you will do what I say. I don't like Four Woman Hill, but I can't say it. I don't like Hill very much. This game is not endowing with me with a positive image of uh, of women either. That. That is subverted in the next episode, you'll be pleased to hear. Or at least I think so. Ahaha! <laughs> no more scarf to hide your face, dancing violet. No more army of little blue scarfed felons to protect you. This hasn't just hasn't been your day. No, you are nearly as great as the rumors projected you'd be. You're pretty brave when you have two of your own men around to protect you. If you'd like to go one-on-one, -on -one, then I'll show you how great I can be. Sorry, Flower Girl, there won't be any of that today. When I kill you, I want lots of people to be around to witness the event. Every witness will unwittingly become an agent for the spreading of my name across the way. Like a rich manure. If you think you're going to use me as a stepping stone to fame, then you're more stupid than I thought. You're just a boring little wench with a penchant for power trips. Ouch! You hussy! Nice pendant. But I would have thought that such an illustrious bandit like yourself would have something more impressive. Uh ohs. Is that a MacGuffin I see? No. Hiya! I told the guards not to let anyone by. How did you get through? I need to ask her a question, okay? Nothing, nothing big. I just jumped off a freaking cliff. Well, I'm sorry, but no one gets to speak to her but me. I said no! I'm the one who caught her! No one is going to steal any part of the victory from me! Me, 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 me! She will talk to me and no one else. Yeah, I think Rue hit the nail on the head. I don't need to lie about anything. My leadership was what defeated the Blue Scarf today. 36. Count them. Exactly. None of that matters, but I'm warning you, if you stick around much longer, I'll have you locked up. Now get out of here! Okay, I'll listen to you. Or, um... Or perhaps not. Lands. Oh, I'm gonna regret this! Moida! Said so? Oh no. I almost didn't believe that spiky hair guy, but after seeing this, you're a bad, bad man, Rue. Oh, Chloe. You don't know what you're doing. Do you ever get to see Rue's parents? Hmm. I'm glad too many RPG protagonists don't have uh, parents. 
Oh, it's awesome! Man, I knew I knew him from somewhere. Don't worry, my little friend. Just a couple more buckets to fill. <laughs> I love to see you sweat. Aww. Yay! Aww. Cute. How many times has this woman knocked me out cold? You really have to stop doing this. I hope you're happy, Rue. You killed one of those soldiers, injured another, and left the forewoman in critical condition. I want my sword back. Oh no! I won't be staying for your execution, but knowing you has taught me something. Oh great. Morality lesson. Selfishness. Huh. <laughs> Typical. <sighs> Which? Man. Pendant. Bad news. Any RPG. Pendants. Bad news. Now, if you pick red as uh, Serena's hair colour, Rue is a lot more willing to believe that Setzer is Serena. But uh, we chose brown. Finally, something to live for. I need my sword back. What will happen? To be continued. And that, my friends, is the end of episode two. Let's save so we can pass on our stats. We have collected every single item that we could have in episode two. We have the maximum potential stats so far. And now we can watch the credits. Yay. Credit sequences are cool because you get to see some more sort of the characters doing various things. So, for example, Setsu and Kaigar are uh, off doing their... doing their thing. Along with their blue scarf buddies. Some nice 3D scenes. Do 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 do... Gaius! Gaius! <laughs> ah, Coco. We know you're the hidden mastermind behind the series. Yay! Crestfallen now at crestfallen.us um, If you haven't already downloaded the game, now is a good chance to go download you know, the games, the episodes, get going on episode 3 uh, in the hiatus between the time I finish this episode and start the next one. Because I'm going to be playing Tower of the Sorcerer in a little bit. And that's that. So, there we have it, episode 2, eh? A lot of story happens, we find a MacGuffin to start chasing after, and things get crazier. Uh, if you want to watch another good Let's Play, um, in the meantime, that's not by me, I've been um, watching the Shira and the Wanderers um, Let's Plays by Mirrorwood, and Shira and the Wanderers is a great little roguelike game that came out for the SNES a while back, it's one of my favourite games, so uh, if you like that sort of thing, definitely a recommendation from yours truly. Okay! Well, I look forward to playing episode 3. Uh, leave any comments for the uh, Let's Play so far here. 
And uh, yeah, I'll catch you around next time. Till then, ciao.